Bob, you start, please. Yeah, I guess for both guys, uh, you know, it's pretty back and forth there. They take the lead with just over three left on, on yet another three. And then you guys, I think, had like a 13 Oh, run or something. What, what do you think spur, spurred that at the end? Chris, maybe, or if Savannah, go ahead and take it yeah, first. I think it was just, just, you know, having to just grasp the moment and just and lock in on, on defense is what it was. You know, they were hitting a lot of threes, and we were giving up a lot of three balls, and we just had to keep our composure and, and lock in and get good shots down the stretch. You want to take that too, Chris? Oh, um, yeah, biggest thing Stanley said was uh, composure. You know, we was able to – kind of understand the moment we was in. You know, they were hitting a lot of tough shots, but, you know, we didn't let it affect how we was playing. And we just kept, you know, pushing, kept going. And then I think that's what led to the run. And obviously, Dino's a real key guy. He gets ejected yeah. with 14-something left. And I, I guess, Chris, you really picked up the slack. How'd you guys react to that? And Chris, especially you. Um, we knew, we know how vital of a piece Devo is to us, especially on the uh, defensive end and on the offensive end. He makes plays for us, so we knew we all had to kind of step up a little bit. Um, Stanley did, you know, everybody did in, in certain ways, and um, you know that's that's what makes our team, I think, pretty good. Um, we're still learning how to play with each other, but you know, I think the roles are being filled and chemistry is is, is going up. So, Curves with. Jalen Williams missed some time there. Looked like he might have rolled his ankle. Uh, came back in there in the final stretch and had a couple big blocks, a couple big baskets for you. Just what that say about him and, and just your overall thoughts on his importance to the team? Yeah, yeah. No, it just shows how tough he is. I think you know, it doesn't matter how hurt he is or if he's tired. You know, he's still getting in better shape. But even when he's tired, he's going as hard as he can. So I think it just shows how tough he is. Um, yeah, it just definitely shows how tough he is. I it um, on the closeout, so um, we tried to tell him tighten it up, but he had to step out for a little minute. But the fact that he sat out and came back shows you definitely how tough he is. And then so. just the, with the three-point defense, is there anything you guys can pinpoint on that? Is it, is it a technique thing? Is it slow getting out, or is it just kind of you know different for different guys? Um, I think today, you know, it was definitely a couple, um, you know, mishaps on, on the defensive side. But I think for the most part, we was kind of there. You know, they were just hitting a lot of tough ones. Um, like I said earlier, we didn't really let that, you know, get us too down. We just kept playing, kept fighting through. So, well, same thing about three-point defense. Just because that's been such an emphasis. What did they do? Anything in particular? Or just just the hot night. You know, I mean, you got to give them credit. You know, they stepped up and, and made some shots. They got some good shooters, but at the same time, you know, we just got to lock in more on our game plan and, and execute. You know, not not letting them shoot threes. Uh, did a good job moving the ball. You know, um, they moved it side to side, and sometimes that that opens up the, the floor a little bit. Um, but even still, I feel like we was there. We weren't like two open threes. You know, I think that it was always a hand there. But um, at the same time, it is something that we we got to focus on, and the coaches are making us aware of that. So well, we should get better at it. Hey, lights. Uh, when did you figure out that you had it going tonight? Was it after you hit a hand one jumper? Or was it after you hit the flip? Layup, or when was it when you figured you had it going tonight? Um, you know, my teammates did a good job finding me today, um, as they always do. I just, you know, my mindset today was to be a little more aggressive. Um, I talked to Stan earlier before the game. Um, I think I was just thinking too much out there the first couple of games. So, um, yeah, just took more of aggressive posts on offense and then make sure I was locked in on defense. Scotty? Yeah, for both guys, J.D. flirted with a triple-double of night, 17, 8, and 9 assists. What did you guys – think of just the influence the, and, the, and the impact that he had on the game tonight? Yeah, I, I think he just he just um, playing with him, you know, it's just it's real comfortable to play with him because, you know, he's always going to be in control. And <clears throat> with, you know, playing with a threat like that, you know, it takes it takes pressure off of other guys too. So, you know, just moving without the ball and, and you knowing that he's going to find you, it's just it's a good feeling to be out there with him. One for each of you, Stanley. What 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 do you think of Chris's game and just the lift? He, we have, we know he can score, but twenty six off the bench is pretty good. What what you think of his performance tonight? No, yeah, he was he was unbelievable tonight. But I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by it at all. You know, coming into the game, I knew he was gonna. I knew I kind of knew he was gonna um, have a game like that. So, you know, it's just it's just fun playing with playing on a team with with great players like this. And you know that, you know, any given night, someone's gonna do something special. Played 31 minutes, so it's like starting, I guess. But yeah, I know you started at Miami. Yeah. What's it been like coming off the bench? How have you adjusted to that? 
Um, it just kind of takes me back to my freshman year. Um, my freshman year, we were really talented at Miami, um, and my role was just to come off the bench and, and bring energy. I was a spark plug. So um, that's kind of what it feels like, although, you know, I do play um, a lot of minutes if I'm playing well. So um, I just try to embrace the moment and produce while I'm out there. And my teammates, you know, it's, it's fun playing with those guys um, while I'm out there. So you didn't come off the bench if that's the way it keeps playing out? Uh, I mean, that's, that's up to coach, really. But um, I don't mind coming off the bench. I actually get a chance to see the flow of the game before, you know, I, I head into the game. So. <clears throat> You guys, you had six guys in double figures tonight, 21 assists, to just five turnovers. Uh, how well is this thing starting to click for you guys offensively? And just how good did it feel to have kind of a complete team performance on the offensive end like that? You know, it, it feels good, but I mean, even sitting here now after, you know, those numbers, I still feel like we left a lot out on the board, you know, including myself, you know, missed a couple of money. So I, it just shows us how much room we got to improve. But, you know, it's good that, that we are where we are right now. 3-0, and it's a good feeling. No, nah, coming in the summer I, I noted that he was probably one of the better passers for the big man that I've seen um in my college years. So I definitely expect it. Um you know, he got he has eyes everywhere, he makes the right passes, so um definitely not not surprised by that at all. Final question, Bob? Stanley, you know, coming from South Dakota, mid-major, I'm sure you could relate to these Northern Iowa guys, the, how they were feeling. And they've got a history of pulling upsets. They, mm -hmm. I look at they've been 25 uh, Power 5 teams in the last 15 years. <laughs> they do it once or twice a year usually. Um, did you get a, you know, just what did you think of their performance, and did you get a sense for how hungry they were to play an SEC team? And yeah, yeah, I think they were just playing real free. And, you know, they were playing with no pressure, so they were just letting them fly from, from wherever. But, you know, they had a game plan, and – and, you know, they played well. So, I mean, it's a, it's a good win for us for sure because we think that that'll be a future NCAA tournament team. All right, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.